Just one thing. It's at the top. We're going to be doing a fear of getting yelled at. I definitely have this. So phonophobia is not the fear of phones. This one's definitely a challenge creatively because there's no distinct image that goes with being yelled at. It's more of like a concept. Do y'all want to see my sketch? I feel like everyone has to be at least a little bit scared of getting yelled at. Who do you guys think is the scariest person to get yelled at by? Potentially my girl, Abby Lee Miller, perhaps? Maybe your mom, maybe your teacher. Comment down below. Comment what phobia you want me to do next, and I'm gonna be doing the top liked comment. If you guys are watching this, there's definitely a chance that you have the fear of being yelled at. Ha! Ah! Trigger warning. So silly and so goofy. I feel like if I was getting yelled at, I would definitely shed a tear. You know when they call you by your first and middle name, that's about to be some serious stuff in that convo. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cover my mouth and then draw a zipper on top, but I have a DoorDash order that's gonna be here in like five, and I feel like they would probably call the authorities if they walked in and I looked like that. Okay, I definitely gave Edgar a jump scare, but I did get my Chick-fil-A. Hey kitties, this is voiceover Sid, and I am just painting down my mouth with some tissue and liquid latex. I tried to use the fan, it wasn't strong enough, so I went to a blow dryer. And now we are putting some foundation over the mouth, some paint to paint the zipper. Finishing off with some red on the cheeks. The driveway, you just one thing that we have to be the sits at the top. Hi guys, today we're going to be doing astrophobia? Fear of storms? Figuring out the lighting to make the lightning look cute took me so long, please appreciate it. Do I have astrophobia? I'm gonna have to say no. Like, I don't want to get struck by lightning or anything, but I do like falling asleep to the sound of rain. It's very peaceful. But I know all of y'all's pets be having that. They hear one boom of thunder, baby, and they're gone. Someone told me once that thunder is angels bullying in heaven. Just picture the girlies up there absolutely just hitting that strike and the, the pins not Knocking down is the thunder. Astrophobia cured. You're welcome. Were y'all around in like 2010 when everything was galaxy print? Had galaxy leggings, galaxy vans. It was a dark time for sure. Pun intended. May come to regret this, but what if I made the cloud out of cotton balls? I'm gonna try. I'm, I didn't even need to just try. I'm gonna just try. My skin is never gonna clear up, is it? I'm dipping my paintbrush in the base of a sippy cup. Don't ask. Suggestions for other phobias to do in the comments down below and I will do the most liked one next time. Did y'all know the chance of getting struck by lightning is one in a million? But nearly 90% of them all survive. Why is it giving like Disney villain vibes? I'm gonna add some stars. Now let's see if we can get this on the first try. Take off my makeup with me. So I told you guys last time I did this, I had to go to the shelter like 10 minutes after and I was considering getting a cat. Well, here she is. I got one. Oh my goodness, I need name suggestions. And if you didn't already watch the video that this was from, you need to. I spit water at my phone as the transition and made a huge mess. But the result, chef's kiss. Ow. I used liquid latex for this moss? And you guys are gonna kill me because I always do makeup when I'm supposed to go somewhere, but I was supposed to leave for a hike with my friends 10 minutes ago. Ah! The cats made a hole in my backdrop and now they're playing through it. And it's one of the most popular hiking trails in LA, so I feel like it would be funny if I showed up like this. You know, pop out, scare some girlies into running a little quicker on their hike. Could be good for them. I'm meeting up with Carter and Scott to hike. The holographic gloss on the lips, I feel like, really brought it together. Thanks for watching. Just one thing that we have in common, neither of us will be missed. Say we're not at the top. Hi, we're gonna be doing trypophobia, fear of small holes. So if that is something that is triggering to you, this is probably not the best video. I'm doing something that I don't wanna do here. Use scar wax. Comment a suggestion and I'll do the top liked one next time. Oh shoot, where's my little spatula? I just looked for this spatula for a solid like 45 minutes. Ugh. Ah! So do I have trypophobia? I would say no. Holes don't particularly frighten me, but like I get it. Have you ever seen those people that like surgically put donuts in their forehead? That's what this is giving. I don't really get the whole thing with the pomegranates and the beehives, but like the, the holy wounds, that I understand. This looks like a good size for some dots. Need some Vaseline on it. This is kind of fun actually. This is not scary at all. Maybe if you guys do have this fear, this could be like exposure therapy. I feel like SpongeBob right now. Are y'all afraid of Swiss cheese if you have this? It is kind of giving honeycomb. 
Honestly, this is getting kind of fun. It's like color by number. Fill in the hole. Oh, now we're looking good. I want to make it look like that plant we touched in the beginning gave us some sort of disease. You know what I mean? It's kind of starting to give zombie, but that's okay. Yeah, I remembered that I had to do my hand, so I quickly did that. But I'm back. Now let's finish the transition. Oh, no. We got to do this fast. St. Bernard sits at the top. Okay guys, today we're gonna be doing fear of death. Cats! You're out of here. Would I say I have a fear of death? Like, not really. Obviously, I hope it doesn't happen soon, and I'm gonna, like, be careful, right? I don't see the point in overthinking it or worrying about it when that's not gonna change the fact. Like, it happens to everyone. It's gonna happen to you. Nothing better to represent death than a skull. You basically have a stencil already on your face like i'm just tracing where i feel the bone thinking about death just also makes me think about life and what's the purpose in the first place is it to be happy because i feel like that's unrealistic is it to experience as much as possible is it to make a change i i do think about that sometimes and it makes me spiral can't decide if i want to do my neck or not i don't know if i feel like it this is going to be tedious but i have to do the teeth 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 i'm drawing the teeth your whole nose would just be a black hole because it's all cartilage. Don't even get me started on that. If your nose is cartilage, how does it break? If there's no bone there, how does it break? Be so for real. That doesn't add up. We hollow out the cheeks because we want to be snatched like Bella Hadid. Would you guys watch if I like painted or did drawing content? Because I'd really like to, but I don't know if y'all are into that, if you only like me for my makeup. So comment and let me know. I'm actually taking new headshots tomorrow, so I'm probably going to change my profile picture to one of those. I need an update updated one because I kind of look like I was 12 years old in that photo and my hair was to like here and that was only like a year ago you want the hair care routine let me know I do need to do my neck like a little bit since my hand is in the transition I gave that a little skeletonness too lights and contacts and all that fun stuff I'll be back let's complete the transition Oh my god, guys, I thought that would be a cool transition, but I think I just made a mess. There's literally water all over my phone. Oh my! Do you guys want to see my mirror? Look at her! I'm gonna be doing fear of the ocean. That's why I thought spitting water on my phone would be a good idea. Also, when I was jittering at the beginning, could just go with it's because I'm a talented actor, but actually, I've drank so much coffee this morning that I think I'm gonna have a heart attack. Make myself pale to start out with because if we were underwater, girl, we were not getting that vitamin D from the sun. I've also not painted over my collarbones since I got surgery because I didn't want to like get stuff in the scar. Do I have a fear of the sea? I would say no, but I definitely don't trust it. Like, what's, what's the percentage of the sea that we haven't explored? Is it like 90% or something like that? There's definitely some stuff down there that I, I don't think I want to know about, to be honest. Also, I'm going to Hawaii in like two weeks for my birthday. I'm going to be 21. And one of the activities we were considering doing is swimming with sharks. I think it would be in a cage. But girl, I have seen 47 meters down. So honestly, I know better. I think I should turn myself into a shark and do fear of sharks. Let me know. We look like we're... All shriveled up in the ocean, you know, just floating down the stream. I look like a drowned zombie from Minecraft. Splatter paint. Ah! I think it's in my eye. I'm gonna add a little moss so it looks like, you know, I've been sitting there while I'm growing stuff. All I need now are the contacts and I'm gonna wet my hair. Let's complete the transition. Off of the driveway, 